Welcome back gamers to the Apog Gaming Tutorials Volume 2. Fallen Frog here and this time we're going to add our Twitch chat to our stream. Okay, so uh, I've got OBS open. We are going to add our Twitch chat to our Be Right Back scene right here. Uh, I think it'll look good right in this spot where we have some empty space. Uh, you might also notice I've got Minecraft pulled up here. Uh, we'll add the chat to the gameplay scene as well. And I think it would it would just help it to show up better if I have a game running. So uh, I went ahead and booted up Minecraft and just you know that way we'll have that on the screen, and we can see what it'll you know we can see what our chat will look like uh, as a, on actual gameplay as opposed to the Xbox One dashboard, uh, which is kind of a mess, <laughs> you know. Uh, so right there, uh, you know, we're ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to need to do, uh, I need to tell you about better Twitch TV. So need to go to nightdev.com uh, you can go there and then click on this projects button nightdev is just a whole resource uh, for twitch streamers uh, and they offer just other you know sort of like twitch alerts that we covered in the last lesson they just offer ways for uh, follower alerts donation alerts uh, donation services and you know different things like that uh, one of these uh, one of the resources here they have is better twitch TV uh, it enhances Twitch with new features, bug fixes, and reduced clutter. Uh, if I come over here to my dashboard, uh, I have Better Twitch TV installed. Uh, we also use Better Twitch TV over on the Hapog Gaming Podcast. So, uh, you know, it, it, it it's a good uh, it's a good little plugin. Uh, if we go into our into our gear here, you can see I've got Better Twitch TV options, uh, Black Chat, Chroma Key, which we'll get into later when we uh, when I window capture the chat. Flip dashboard so you can flip your dashboard. Uh, dark mode, which is what I have. Uh, I've got this ticked right here. You can see if I untick it, it goes into the regular uh, Twitch chat. But I, I find it's easier to see if it's in dark mode if I have white text on a black background. Uh, so that's why I like that. Uh, you have some other options here for blacklisted keywords and what keywords you want highlighted and other than, you know other things like that. But you can also click this button down here, Better Twitch TV Settings, and you have a whole slew of customizable things that you can uh, you can go through and you know turn on and off animated gifs gifs whatever uh, you know different different little things that you can do uh, the only thing that I really want to show you that is really cool about better twitch TV is emotes so uh, better twitch TV is completely free you just download the plugin from nightdev.com uh, you install it uh, and then you're good to go you've got better twitch TV installed uh, once you go through, you can connect your you can connect your your channel to to Better Twitch TV, upload an emote, uh, and then you have to wait about zero to five days is what it says. You just you know could be up to a week, uh, but you have to wait for approval. Uh, as long as you're using original artwork or something like that, you can have your own emotes. So you don't have to be a partner with Twitch. You don't have to have a subscriber button. Uh, the only thing you need is Better Twitch TV. Uh, you can also take those emotes, and I know Lieutenant Zonda streaming. I know uh, you can take those emotes and share them onto other channels. So you know, I've, these are the two emotes I have. I've got my Fallen Frog logo, and then I've got my butterfly tattoo. Uh, I've got both of these as emotes for butterfly and frog. Uh, I don't have them set up for sharing yet. I just haven't gone and done that. Uh, but you can see all these other emotes that everyone uses as well. So you'll get to pick what word you want uh, for you know what the command is, and then you'll have an emote, uh, and then you can set those up for sharing so they can be used on other people's channels. Uh, you can use them on your channel. The only thing that's required for those to be visible is Better Twitch TV. So if you have Better Twitch TV installed, you'll see them. If any of your viewers have Better Twitch TV installed, they'll see them. But if you're showing your chat on your stream and you have better Twitch TV installed, your viewers will see it on your stream. So that's a really nice bonus. Even if they don't have better Twitch TV, they'll still be able to see your emotes. Uh, and you know, it looks pretty cool. So, so getting into it, uh, if you want to install better Twitch TV, just go in there. Uh, you can get the downloader right here, follow the instructions. It's really simple. You just download it, install it, and then you're good to go. Uh, what we're gonna do to get our chat into OBS here though uh, there's a couple of different ways we can do this uh, if you go back to night dev you can 
you might have noticed they have OBS chat over here as one option. Uh, if we if we go on this, it's going to use the CLR browser. So that's the that's what they have for you to install. Uh, if you don't have the CLR browser already installed, you can do it from here. Just hit just hit the install button, and it's going to give you the download for the CLR browser. We've already got it installed, so I can just hit next. And here we have some options to customize uh, that will help pull over, pull our chat in. So if I type in my username, Fallen Frog, uh, that's that tells it which channel to pull the chat from. Uh, we can apply a fade and have it fade after however many lines. I've got uh, it defaults at 30, so I'll just I think 30 would be a good choice. Uh, we can have it show bots and then not show bots as well, so it tries to keep everything clean. If you have a bot that is constantly you know spamming links or something like that or he's just very vocal in your chat uh, you can have him you can have it hide that away as well uh, and then you can choose the theme I use the dark theme for better twitch TV but if you choose none uh, you'll have a transparent chat uh, as a source so we're gonna go ahead and leave it none for now and then uh, just hit next and it's going to give you a URL uh, we're just going to copy this URL and copy and then we're going to go back to our OBS and we are going to add a CLR browser so let me just make sure you guys can see that right click add CLR browser uh, we can name this whatever we want let's go ahead and name it chat uh, and then you can see we've got our URL here defaulted at obsproject.com just replace that with the URL that we received from night dev uh, we can change the dimensions I'm not gonna worry about it right now and it's it's joining our channel so uh, it's it's going through and pulling on the information from our channel that it wants that it can uh, we can resize it but the only problem I have with this is it's a little hard to read uh, we can use custom CSS and you know we can go through and fine-tune that if we wanted to if we knew how it doesn't give us the option to uh, within night dev here if we just hit next it's uh, it it shows us that you know it lets us know that we can use advanced CSS uh, which is on that you know when we put in our URL it's on the next tab over uh, that's program programming oriented type stuff that we're not going to get into today but you can do a whole lot of stuff with that if you go through it if you know CSS uh, and that's really all they have to show I prefer a a better method for getting the chat. Uh, I do want to show you that the chat works though. So let me go over to my chat. Let me let's make this a little bit smaller, uh, and let's just see if you know. Let's just make sure this works. So if I uh, bring this over here, uh, let's just type hello. Type hello, and it's a little hard to tell, but you can see it right there. Uh, you know in our source there's you know obviously chat activity can't read it though it's very it's very hard to read so um, I have a better method that I'm going to show you guys we're going to remove this um, make my OBS window just a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on here what I like to do uh, is pop out my chat uh, and I and for a couple of reasons one it's easier I'm going to do a window capture and it's easier to window capture if it's you know it's a separate window but also you know I can close my dashboard whenever I'm done with it while I'm streaming and still have my chat open and I can move the chat around wherever I need to while I'm streaming and it's just it's easier to manage that way for me personally so uh, one thing you could do you could grab this URL copy this and paste this into uh, into your CLR browser but it's going to give you a default chat browser it's going to have your send message your buttons down here it's going to have the URL it's basically going to throw that entire window into your scene uh, it, it'll just look defaulted and it you know it's kind of distracting it won't look great if you have it over your gameplay so what we're going to do uh, we are going to do window capture like I said so let's go over here and add a source and let's do window capture uh, I'm going to name this chat hit OK uh, and then just make sure you select the window. We want to select our uh, Twitch, Google Chrome, Fallen Frog window right here that I have. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't have my mouse cursor. And I'm going to choose subregion. I'm going to select my subregion. 
Uh, and I know for sure I'm going to bring the bottom up. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to capture the space where I set, where I type my messages. That's unnecessary. And I also don't want the address bar at the top. Uh, I'm just going to bring in the sides just a smidge too, just to make sure I don't end up capturing any of that bar because that'll show up on my stream as well. So basically I've just made my box just a wee little bit smaller. We're good to go. I'll hit A or hit enter and we've got our window capture set up. If I hit OK, uh, we can see the chat is in here. Uh, I can resize it. It is a little bit easier to read here, uh, but we can we can go ahead and make this uh, even easier. So uh, if I was to do a control, if, I, if you hold control and scroll your mouse wheel or hit plus or minus, you can zoom in. So if one thing you can do is you can you can zoom in your window. Uh, it's going to zoom all of your windows in, and it's going. But you'll have a, you know, you'll be able to play with that and make that an easier to read chat if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset that to default, though, uh, which you can just zoom it back out. Uh, within Better Twitch TV, uh, Black Chat Chroma Key. If you select this, it gives you a, it, it gives you a cleaner chat. Your chat is a lot cleaner. And then what you can do is go into your properties, select color key, uh, and then just select black. Select that black color, and there you go. We've got, so if I maximize this, we can now see our chat. Uh, if I was to type into my chat window, you know, I could say, uh, hello again. You can see chat shows up, uh, looks, looks great really I mean as long as you know once the streams going on that better twitch TV loaded is going to be is going to go away uh, everything will everything will look great uh, I'm going to show you my emote so uh, even though you don't have better twitch TV installed because I do and I'm window capturing my screen it's going to show up on the stream for everybody so uh, everybody can see the butterfly that I've got everybody can see you know any custom emotes that you use on your channel uh, which is which is all nice. <laughs> so uh, this is the method that I use for my window capture because you know I like to pop out my chat anyway so if I'm gonna have it out there uh, with the black chat enabled it also is easier to read so I can uh, you know while I'm playing a game I can quickly glance, up, glance over and see what it looks like uh, and then it just offers I think the best results so uh, let's go ahead and go over to our gameplay though and if we wanted to add chat to the gameplay we could do that as well we would just right click add. Uh, first, let me resize OBS because OBS will be uh, taking up full, all, full the full screen and I won't be able to see what window I want to capture. So uh, so in our gameplay, we're going to add a window capture just like we did before. We're going to do chat. Chat. Uh, we're going to make sure it's the same window. No mouse cursor. Sub region. Select region. Make sure we don't capture that address bar. Let's make sure we don't capture our message bar. And they have this, you know, they, they threw up this white line to show you where you want to, you know, anything above that is where your chat will start showing up. So just make sure you're above that line if you don't want to have, you know, wherever you're typing be displayed. Uh, hit enter or click outside. Grab our color key again. So we're going to grab, uh, double click on here, and I'm just going to go to black. Hit OK, and hit OK. And there we go, we've got chat now, ready to go. Uh, ready to go in our gameplay. So if I was to grab my controller here and start start playing the game, uh, which I, I have the delay, I don't have my screen up so I can actually see, but uh, you can see we've, you know, we can chat, we can, uh, Obviously, I don't have my webcam turned on either because I'm using it currently to film this. But you know, we would have webcam up here. We'd have our logo. We'd have our chat. Uh, and then if we ever needed to go away, you know, we pop on over to uh, be right back, and you know, pause the game, and they can keep chatting and having a great time uh, until you return to your stream. So, uh, hopefully, this helps you guys. Uh, this is pretty simple, pretty painless stuff. But you know, as always, if you have any questions at all. Uh, feel free to hit us up in the comments or, you know, hit us up with a message, uh, myself or Hapog. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.
Hey, before you go, if you'd like to see the previous video where I show you guys how to set up Twitch alerts, you can click on that video up there. And if you want to see more of me, head on over to Fallen Frog by clicking right over here. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.